All right, doing a quick reflection after my first uh, visit to Donovan for some uh, improv with the guys there, the inmates, and it went exceptionally well. Um, I know I was a little nervous at first, but once I got back there and and I you know got to connect with the guys, all of that just melted away. Uh, because let's just be honest, they are just like anyone. Uh, to be honest, if you didn't know that they were, you know, behind bars, um, you know, they could pass as your brother or your cousin or your father or your dad, which is the same as father. Uh, <laughs> nonetheless, um, such an amazing experience. We just played just a few games just to kick it off for this first week and already had such an amazing transformation. I'm not even lying. Uh, first game, you know, that we did is just a simple game uh, just to help them think on their feet and get used to um, just letting go judgment. It was awesome. Um, we played a few games on listening, getting them to listen to the whole conversation and, again, let go of judgment and just be with the person. And we did uh, something a bit uncomfortable just for just anyone and this was they had to look into each other's eyes for 30 seconds then afterwards with their partner they shared three vulnerable things and then they looked for another 30 seconds and I've done this time and time again with with teenagers and doctors and the first time it's you know very squirmy um, and then after they you know allowed themselves to just be vulnerable and you do it again is magic you know they do so much better um, and one of the things that I did in the beginning I, again this is par for the course for any experience that I facilitate I asked what are you looking to get out of it and it was really surprising you know a lot of people wanted to be a better communicator they wanted to be better thinking on their feet. They wanted to be confident. They wanted to hear people better. They wanted to just get along. A lot of people just wanted to have fun and just allow themselves to let loose. And I am happy that just in week one, we did that. And some of the takeaways from the, you know, the observations and, and the debrief, someone said, wow, um, I need to work on just letting go of anger you know I get mad and I bottle it up and it takes a while for it to go let go I need to get better at that and you know someone talked about you know I judge certain situations and it gets me into trouble and I need to let go of that and someone also said you know what uh, you know I'm the type of person that I can be really intense and that's what got me in here and when I finally get out if I don't shift that, I'm going to probably be back in here again. So I just, again, need to work on that. And that was so amazing that from a simple two-hour improv class, they came up with those ideas themselves. So, whew, my gosh, it is, it was, again, so powerful. And I am so honored that I got a chance, you know, to facilitate that and... You know, this is just the first week. Um, you know, I have a few more weeks of this, and I'm super excited. You know, for you know, now that I know a little bit more about what they want to get out of the experience, to uh, bring that. And one of the guys, he has his parole hearing um, this weekend, so if, hoping that it, it goes well for him because he was really nervous, and you know, he wanted some some techniques to help him with his confidence and to be able to just calm his nerves. So that is week one at Donovan for this improv project. So keep on the lookout. Stay up to date for the next couple weeks. All right, talk soon. Bye.